I thought I would pop on today, do a quick tutorial on just our face makeup, the 3D foundation. If you haven't seen one of my videos before, um, I am a representative for Saint Cosmetics, and this is our 3D foundation palette. Very easy to use, user friendly, and totally customizable. Does not go on thick like a cakey foundation. What you're doing is wanting your skin to continue to look like skin. So by applying the foundation in strategic areas to enhance your natural bone structure, you're going to get a, a beautiful natural look. So we're going to go in today. I'm going to start with one of our contour shades. And our foundation is called 3D Foundation. It is made up of our contour and highlight. And that is just a different word for foundation. Um, the contour colors are the ones that you apply where your face has um, your natural bone structure. And then the highlighter colors are more for your fleshy toned areas. Um, you notice I have some pink on my cheeks and on my forehead. So I use a color that has a little bit of blue green to it and that neutralizes the pink. So I'm gonna go in now with a larger brush. Actually, I'm gonna go back in with my little brush and contour my nose. I don't normally do this for day-to-day -day wear, but I do like to show it on the video so that you all can see how you can just maintain the natural dimensions in your face. So then going in with a fluffier brush and I'm gonna go under my eyes with the lightest color. And then down the center of my face, always keeping the center of the face bright. And blending into my neck. And then I take the color corrector, the one that has a little bit of green um, to it. This is actually, the color is called June. All it does is just help camouflage these broken blood vessels that I have. Um, oh. We believe that all faces are beautiful and natural and we want to keep them that way. Keep your skin looking like skin. You want to look like yourself. You don't want to look like a totally new person. Take the fluffy end of the brush and blend everything in. And I'm going to flip to the second side where I have all these beautiful, yep, bring it this way. And today I'm going to go in with actually this color over here, pink grapefruit, and I'm gonna pop this just on the apples of my cheeks and blend it up and outward, blend the contour in, and blend the contour into my hairline. Anything left over on the brush goes on my eyes, and then the perfector sponge. You take the Perfector sponge, spray it with a tiny bit of setting spray. And what this does is I'm going to just gently roll it on my skin. It's going to press in any of that extra pigment. It's also going to pick up any excess so that you don't end up looking cakey or all made up. So. There you go, that's the easy makeup. Now we're gonna do a quick eye tutorial. And as you see from the, the um, title, I did a, um, a roulette. So we have 74 different eye colors, eyeshadow colors, I should say. I actually have 66 of those. And we're gonna be coming out with 13 more later in the year for a total, it's gonna be 87 shadow colors. So I only used, the 66 in my collection and I did a color randomizer from um, oh bear with me sorry I dropped something um, anyway I used a, a randomizer from 1 to 66 to pick four colors for me and this is the palette that I got so we have this bright blue over here called Daba D we have midnight which is a purpley blue gray then we have a peachy color. This is from our new collection, Havana. And this is Trust, which is a deep grayish brown. Um, very versatile. And then these two up here on this side. 
Stay Golden and Cupcake. Cupcake is the ivory one because I always start with those colors um, just as a base to my eye to give the other colors something to blend with. I take a little bit of eye primer. You can take concealer. You can use um, any of our foundations, uh, contours. You can even use a lip color. I've seen people do some really fun looks. Um, probably not an everyday look, but a glam look or for a special occasion to deepen up the colors. I'm only using this functionally to get myself a, um, a base. So I'm going to go in with Cupcake with this fluffy brush. I'm also brushing a little bit on the lashes with my skincare and with the foundation being a cream. Um, there is a little bit of cream that gets on your lashes that can result in a little bit of smudging of your mascara. So if you want to powder down your lashes a little bit, that helps a lot. Actually, for me, it helps a lot. Um, today, I'm just going to go in with a very simple color. I'm wearing a gray top that has some purple flowers on it. I'm not sure if you can see if they show up. They don't show up. Um, so I'm just going to go in with our eyeshadow brush into Midnight. And I'm going to tap off any excess. And I'm just going to go all over the eyelid. This is just a really easy one shade eye look. This is the same technique you would use if you were going to do a deep smoky eye. You just apply a little bit of eyeshadow to the lower lid. And then just keep blending upward and outward so that it gets lighter in density as it goes up on your eyelid. So it is actually that easy. Just one color. This is a beautiful, just a neutral um, grayish purple color. And it's that easy. Going to go in on the other side. Tap off any extra over here. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm looking down. I have a small mirror here so that I can see what I'm doing, but I don't want to have my hands block the, the camera in any way. And so there we go there. And look at it straight on. Try to make it even. Add a little bit extra where you think you may need it. Um, there you go. Simple one eyeshadow look. Um, what I also like to do is take a tiny bit on the pointy end of my brush and go under the bottom lash line. I don't use eye pencils anymore. I find that they're a little too drastic for me as my skin is maturing. And just a tiny flush of color is great. And... Eyebrows, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Eyebrow Pencil. And the item that I dropped is actually a brow gel from Benefit, which I usually do to hold my brows in place, but you don't need to watch me do that. And all I'm doing is taking the pencil end and going up in little tiny hair-like strokes. Let me try to get a little closer to the camera. And when I get to the tail where I've lost a lot of fullness in my brow, I just go out um, and I might do the same on the inner part of my eye. I'm going to do the same thing with my other brow. So anyone that's interested in having a makeup class, you can come to me, I can come to you, or we can do it online as a virtual Zoom or FaceTime or Facebook rooms, um, anything that is most comfortable for you. And last but not least, well, it won't be last. We're going to do lips today, too. For uh, my mascara, my preferred mascara is Benefit. They're real. I find for my lashes, this works the best. It's a very thin formula. 
and a very thin brush. So what it does is it provides the separation and definition to the lashes as well as um, some length and darkening of my lashes. So as I've matured, my lashes are growing down just a tiny bit, or actually my, my eyelids are drooping. The lashes are still growing in the right direction. Um, if you don't use an eyelash curler, you don't need to. But if you do and you're ready for an upgrade, the one I got is from JCat Beauty. And I found it on Ulta for like 3 or $4. It's the best one I've found so far. Um, it has this little comb in front that keeps everything separated. I don't know if that's a magic trick or not, but I have other brands that just don't tend to curl my eyes and keep the lashes curled all day. Um, so just a little bit of mascara on the tips and then I go down to the root. And then finally, for all day lips, especially with mask wearing, I have found this lipstick in the drugstore. I actually found it because of YouTube videos and reviews. It is the Rimmel Provocalypse. They sell it at CVS, Walgreens, and Amazon. And I've already used a conditioner on my lips. We're a little bit of shine right there. So I'm gonna go in with my powder again. And just put a little bit of setting powder where I see some shine. There we go. Okay, so um, if you've never used long wearing lipstick before, some of them can be very drying. They dry and crack on your lips, and I did not like them. The reason I like the Rimmel is that I have not had that happen. So what I do is instead of using the doe foot applicator, I take um, a flat brush and I apply it to my lips. I feel that I have more control over where this goes and the color that I've selected is really close to my natural skin tone. And I'm gonna be Going back into the office, I've started last month going in like once or twice a week, but I'll be going in more frequently, and uh, they just reinstated our mask policy. I don't know about you guys, what you're doing, but they just reinstated our mask policy, so I want my lips to last all day. So. Supposed to wait about a minute between application. And this does say 16 hour wear. I never wear it for 16 hours. I look to get six to eight hours and this does perfect for that. And it may last longer, but that's not my goal. So I've never tested it for the full 16 hours. So there you go. Face makeup took about eight to 10 minutes. Eyes took about three and lips took another two. So we are done in 14 minutes. Thank you for spending time with me today. I look forward to seeing you next time around. Have a great day. Bye.